This scoreboard can look complicated and it's a pain to go through all these settings trying to figure out how everything works and what exactly you need to set up. So let me tell you step by step what's important, how to set it up and how to make best use of the functions because we are going over all of the Mi 6 bot functions. What's up everyone, the video nerd here and welcome to this Mi 6 Discord bot tutorial. It's been a while, but that's due to my internship and my thesis. Once those are out of the way, you have no idea how many videos are coming your way. And this video is sponsored by Mi 6 and because of that I was able to get you a discount code of 20%. Using the code the video nerd 2020 will give you a 20% discount on their annual and their lifetime plan. We will go over both the free and the premium options so you can clearly see which features are free and which aren't. Now the reason that this bot has a premium membership, which is very cheap by the way, is that there are just a lot of features. This bot has the potential to customize and automate your whole discord server so if you're serious about your discord it might actually be worth it. But let's go over all the settings together to see if it would fit you or not. So let's start with linking this to our Discord server. Log in with your Discord account on the Mi6 website and then authorize them to access your account. Then select your server and continue. Authorize them for all these actions too and that will bring you to the main page. A lot of these plugins will be disabled for you but don't worry you can just click on them and enable them as you're setting everything up. So to be clear, as soon as you see this dashboard, the bot will already be in your Discord server. So you can just start changing settings right off the bat. I will go over the most important settings first and I will keep the extra and useful things of the Mi 6 bot for later in the video. In many Discords, you have to accept the rules before you're able to see any other channel. And this should and can easily be done with the reaction rules plugin of the Mi 6 bot. The first thing you need to do is making a role that you want to give to people who become a part of your discord. To keep things simple, let's say you want to call them members. So you make the members role and then you make all your discord text and voice channels only available to people who at least have the members role. And then only your rules channel should be available to everyone. This way, when someone joins your Discord, the only thing they will see is the rules channel. So then once that's done, we wanna let the Mi 6 bot give a role to people once they react a certain emote on your rules message, so that they can accept it. To do that, go to the Mi 6 dashboard and go to reaction rules. Then select the rules channels we just made in this drop down and write your rules right here in this message box. I will just paste a basic template right here, change the embed color to your branding color and then click on this add reaction button. Now you need to pick an emote that people need to click on to accept the rules. You can pick an emote yourself or just pick the check mark. Then click on the plus icon next to the emote you chose and choose the role you want people to get when they click on this emote. I will select the members role. The allow members to pick up multiple roles you see right here is for when you add multiple reactions here in case you want people to choose which role they want to get. This can work great for example if you want to make a role called streamer, youtuber and normal member. In that case you can make people choose one of them or let them click on any role they want to get in case they are a streamer and a youtuber for example. Let's go to Discord and test this. So you see right now I don't have the members role and then in the rules channels there's a message with rules and when I click on this check mark to accept the rules I will get the members role and all the other channels become visible. We're done here. If you don't care about people reading these rules you can also automatically assign them a role when they join. For that to work, just go to the Mi 6 dashboard to the welcome plugin and then enable giving new role to new users. 
select the new rule you want people to get and you're done. But I recommend letting people read the rules first. So then after someone joins you want them to get a welcome message and that's for two big reasons. The first reason is that it just adds more interaction to your discord and the second reason and the most important one is that you can promote what's most important to you in your welcome message. People will be tagged in the message so they will probably read it. Use the welcome message to tell them something that's important to you and link your stream, YouTube channel or anything else you want them to visit. You also have the option to add a welcome card but you can't customize this unless you have Mi6 Premium. If you buy that which is really cheap by the way you can make this look great and then it can be nice to use. But without customization options I wouldn't bother. So let's set up who can manage this bot. For that we need to go to the settings tab. Any role that has the administrator permission in your discord server will be a bot master. If there are other roles which you also want to be a bot master like the moderator role then you can add that right here as an additional bot master role. A great function that can add a lot of interaction to your stream and that you can be very creative with is the custom commands plugin. It allows you to create commands that give a text response and this can be something simple like exclamation mark YouTube which then links your YouTube channel but it can also be a random text message chosen from a list you make. So for example you could make an exclamation mark joke command that returns a random joke and you can then keep adding jokes to the list and that can be a very fun command to interact with. Below the text boxes you can then set up a description for that command, include roles that can use it, exclude roles that can't use it, exclude the usage in certain channels and put a cooldown on the command. So let's quickly set up a YouTube promotion command. So click on text command, enter exclamation mark YouTube as the name and then change the response to your YouTube promotion message. Then write link YouTube channel as the description. Anyone can use this command, no one is banned from using it. You can exclude some channels right here if you want and then put it on a user cooldown of 3 minutes to prevent spam and enable do not reply to command. Let's click on add to save it, go to the discord and type exclamation mark YouTube and bam as you see it works. You can add a maximum of 3 commands like this unless you have Mi6 Premium, then you can add up to 500. Another thing you can do with Mi6 Premium is adding advanced commands. You can set up a command that gives a role to the person using it. For example, you could make a command exclamation mark streamer that will give the person using the command the streamer role. When you enter exclamation mark help you will get a handy list of command types you can use and after that you can type exclamation mark help followed by the type you want to see more on to see specific commands for that and that way you can easily navigate to find the commands you are looking for this function is really handy. Then there's also a levels function and this is really easy to set up. Actually you don't have to do anything besides enabling the levels function. When you go to the dashboard of Mi6 and then click on see leaderboard, you get an overview of who is most active in your discord. If you want a custom URL for this, you will have to get Mi6 premium and then you can edit it right here in the leaderboard settings. But another option to go to the leaderboard is simply typing exclamation mark levels in your discord. Let's take a look at the options for leveling. Go to the plugin and choose levels. The first thing we can do right here is enabling a level up announcement but this is really spammy so we are not going to do that. What you could do is making the bot send private messages to people who just leveled up because that will probably encourage them to be even more active in your discord to chat even more. Then a fun thing you can do with Mi6 Premium with the levels is making people get a certain role once they reach a certain level. For example once they reach level 10 they can become a big supporter and at level 15 they can become a true supporter and I mean there are so many options, so many names. This is a really fun function. The server rank card is free and you can edit the color by clicking on edit server rank card. When someone types exclamation mark rank in your discord they will see their card 
as you see it right here. And the first time they do that, they will get a private message with a link that allows them to customize their car to change the color. With premium, you can change the XP rate and then there are a few free options, for example, stopping certain rules from getting experience, picking channels where sending messages doesn't give experience and then enabling or disabling the commands. A function which a lot of people use is the automatic posting of YouTube videos, Twitter posts or when you go live on Twitch or Mixer. These are all really simple settings, I will show you how to do it for YouTube and then you will be able to figure out the others on your own. So let's enable the YouTube function, search for your channel, change the message to your liking and then select a Discord channel to post the updates in. By the way, this doesn't have to be your own channel, you can just choose any YouTube channel right here. And this is the same for Twitter, Discord and Mixer, this is the only thing you need to do. Right now, every time I upload a new video, my Mi6bot will post a message in my Discord with a link to the video and with the text I set up. This is really handy. Then another very useful thing you can do with Mi6 is recording a voice channel just by using a command. You can record up to 2 minutes with the free version and as long as you want with the premium one. To start recording make sure you are in a voice channel and you type exclamation mark record. To stop recording just type exclamation mark stop recording and you will get a link to the download page of the file. Press the three dots and click on download to download the file you just recorded and that's all you have to do. Then the search anything function we see right here is really straightforward. Let's click on it in the plugins tab and see what's possible. So these are simply all the commands and you can use them in discord to search for specific things. These are really fun and you need to test them out just type exclamation mark pokemon followed by pikachu and you will get a detailed card of pikachu's name stats weight uh, i don't know a lot of things and this works for all the different commands so Try this out, it's really fun. Then another important thing is the moderator settings. This is both for manual commands like exclamation mark ban and also for auto moderator settings. Now in the plugins tab, let's go to the moderator and then see what we can set up right here. First of all, you need to add moderator roles right here. So add all the roles that can control the bot and that should not be affected by the auto moderation like spam filters or filters for links posted etc. Then audit logging of the moderation events is very important and you should make a separate channel for this in your discord and make sure that only the admins and the moderators can see this. Every action taken by the bot for example uh, warning people or banning people will be listed in the channel you select right here. This will make sure that you can look back and revert changes that shouldn't have happened. And this can also be used for other actions like member events such as people changing their nickname etc. And you should take a look at all the options to enable what's important to you. When we scroll more to the bottom we will find the auto moderator settings and these have a lot of options. For each of the functions you can choose to enable it or leave it disabled and if you enable it you can click on the plus icon to change specific settings. I'm not going over all of them because they are pretty straightforward and there's just a lot. Under that you can then make it ignore other bots and you can also make it rename muted users so that it's clear that they are muted. Then automated actions lets you mute, ban or kick people when they break the rules a certain number of times. Under that we see the commands and these are also straightforward. Read the options, enable or disable some and you're done. Let's save on the bottom and then take a look at the music plugin. This plugin is a big part of the bot, it works extremely well and when you have the premium version you can also control the bot online in the dashboard. Now the only thing you really need to do is enabling the bot in the plugins. So once that's done, let's go to discord, join a voice channel and type exclamation mark join. This will make the bot join your voice channel and now you can type exclamation mark add followed by a song name and that song will be added to the queue. Type exclamation mark add followed by another song and that will also be added to your queue. So now when you type exclamation mark queue, all songs that are queued will be listed right here. 
Exclamation mark. Play will then start the bot and it will play till there are no songs left in the queue. Exclamation mark. Pause will pause it. And exclamation mark. Stop will stop the current song, remove it from the queue and then stop the bot. The bot will then leave the channel and the next time you summon the bot to a channel and you play the music, it will continue from the next song that was queued. There are a bunch of commands you can use, you can look through them all, but something important to mention is that when you have a premium account of Mi 6, you can control the bot online as I already said, with this interface under the commands. You can move it to other channels with a drop down, pause, play and skip songs and you can also have a clear overview of the queue right here. Something else you can do with music is doing a quiz and I'm gonna warn you this is a complete premium feature. That being said, the music quiz lets you start a quiz in Discord where the bot will start playing music and then people in the channel can guess the song name and the artist. When you get it right, you get awarded one point and if no one knows it you can simply skip the song. When you stop the quiz, the bot will post the score of all contestants. Honestly, this is a great feature, this is really fun. And then a feature that most of you will know how to handle is the timer. Timers are very simple, they work exactly like they do in chatbots for your stream. You can add a timer, select the channel which it has to post in, type a message, choose the interval, even the days that it can post, and then the message will just be posted automatically once every interval. It's as simple as that, but it's very useful. And if you're a big Reddit user, you can set up the Mi 6 bot so that it posts subreddit posts directly to your server. You just need to enable it, enter your subreddit that you want to get posts from right here, choose white or compact embeds, and then select the channel to post in. Now every new post in the subreddit will be posted to your Discord channel. So that was a pretty long tutorial, but that's becoming a standard on this channel. So if you're looking for in-depth live streaming and YouTube tutorials, then subscribing will be the right move. If you're still setting up or improving your stream, then this playlist will be the one for you. And if you want to grow on YouTube and you want to know the strategies that I'm using to grow my YouTube channel, then that is the playlist you should go to. Thanks for watching and I will see you in one of these playlists or in the next video. Have a good day.